Hi. May local elections are coming soon. Rather than campaigning for urgently needed social housing, Labour are planning to run the law and order platform. They are seeking to outflank the Tories on their own terrain. Just look at Angela Rayner's latest pronouncements. However, there's no doubt that within abandoned working class communities, crime is a genuine concern. Police are part of the problem, harassing and bullying people on the streets. Rarely do they investigate burglaries, racist and homophobic attacks, muggings, unless they occur in wealthy areas. These are real ongoing concerns. Communities of the poor and working class have the natural right to defend themselves against whatever threat. For the past few years, mostly beneath media, media radar, vigilante groups have been formed in some of these marginalised communities. Many of these are so-called paedophile hunters. Naturally, the police strongly disapprove of such groupings, um, many containing deeply disturbed individuals with mixed motives. Some of these vigilante formations have an obvious right-wing program, such as patrolling the beaches of Kent, scouring for illegal migrants. Outside this milieu, groups are forming to prevent vehicle crime, anti-social behaviour, street drug dealing, even fly-tipping, there's even an LGBTQ group that patrols Soho to prevent homophobic attacks. Labour will undoubtedly be condemning any form of vigilant vigilantism, regarding it as a threat to their version of law and order. In other words, the status quo. Of course, vigilante groups will spring up in abandoned working class communities. What choice have they? I'm uneasy about such developments. But then again, this is, like it or not, self-organisation by a neglected, alienated working class communities. Remember, we're living in a world turned upside down and inside out. Something screaming to be born and kick its way out of the decaying system. Will it be pro or anti-authority or a mixture of both? Bye.